was 2020! You know what that means? The stinky, smelly 2010s are gone. I just made a video talking about how it was the best decade of my life. But no! Stinky! Gone! It's time for the roaring 20s. And if these years, these years are anything like my 20s, boy, are they gonna be insecure and weird. But as they always say, new year, new meme. It's meme time! It's meme time! Gather all your friends, it's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! The only cure for sadness. The blessed day. <laughs> Merry Christmas, here's my gift to you. But this does put a smile on my face. Thanos didn't even say that in Infinity War. I remember seeing it in the trailers a ton, but I don't think he actually says it. Does he? Release the Russo cut. Release the Thanos cut of Infinity War. I know you cut a bunch of them out of there, but yes, you're welcome. I said Happy Wheels would never ever come back. I did play it a lot on tour on stage, but I said I would never do videos on it. And then Christmas came around and they were gonna end Happy Wheels this year now, actually. Is that actually a thing that's happening? It hasn't died yet, at least. It's still there, you can still play it. Willie, stop looking at me weirdly. Me happy that the Sean Mc... What fucking spelling is that? The Sean McLaughlin memes are over. It coming back differently. <laughs> no, 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 it's over. Let it die, be still. Silence, fiend! <laughs> NASA pics of Saturn 746 million miles away. Meanwhile, okay. Shut the fuck up, okay? It's called focus, all right? Manual focus. I don't have it on autofocus anymore. It's on manual focus. Of course, I'm gonna be out of focus, you motherfuckers. Sorry, I yelled at you. This is a new year. We should be positive. We should be happy. We should get into it in a good mentality, but also, f <laughs> families at a dining table be like the Zoomers, the Boomers. <laughs> well, what's the difference? The Boomers are looking at TV and the Zoomers are looking at phones. It's the same fucking thing. Just because one looks ruder by being down here does not make it different. Plus, what are the boomers even looking at on TV anyway? News? Listening to the same political opinions that they have aligned with for years anyway? But good meme! Very good meme! I like! Jack needs this book. Okay, so I saw this already. Uh, someone sent it to me somewhere. Social media. There's a lot of them. Uh, but I actually got one. Hold on. Here's one I prepared earlier. It's called the Irish Insult Generator. And the way it works is that it has a bunch of these little tabs that you can go down through and flip them over whatever way you want. This one says, your mate's a cross-eyed sap and as fragrant as a slurry pit. A slurry pit is a pit full of cow shite. But then you just flip over random ones and see what you get. That bio's a Banjax Lula with a roar like a Doran's arse. That cow's a right tool with a head like a melted welly. He's such an insufferable dose with teeth like a Donegal graveyard. <laughs> this is a good one. Your sister's a feckin' cute whore who smells like the business end of a cow. <laughs> ah, the Irish. A great bunch of lads. Oh yes, oh yes. This, this is what I wanted. This is good. Alexa, what's 100, 100, 100, 100 in Welsh? 100, 100, 100, 100 in Welsh is Cunt, cunt <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Fuck yeah <laughs> I can't take credit for that one though, I saw that in a vine a long time ago A lot of you have probably seen the same vine, but It's my favorite thing to trigger people's Alexas to do Cause they're like, wait, what? <laughs> you think Ethan's pale until Sean arrives Okay I'm pale I'm an Irishman living in England. What do you expect? I'm white. I'm a milk bottle. I don't get much sun. Ethan lives in LA now and he's still pale. What's his excuse? Plus, I'm a hairy lad. I'm a big feckin' hairy Irish Gaelic gladiator of a man. It blocks out all the UV rays. It keeps- You know what? I'll- I'll- I'm fine with it. I'm a pasty white boy and I'll- I'll live with it. Sean in the background seemingly okay with the fact that he found himself to be part of a gay porn video. <laughs> I really look like that, like, right in front of my salad meme. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. That's the top comment. Really? Right in front of my salad? Really? Right in front of my paraffin wax? <laughs> Me after successfully hiding my 3DS under my pillow from mom at 12 a.m. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Man, I got some fucking moves, dude. Me when mom says the pizza rolls are ready? Hell yeah. <laughs> the original, the sequel, the reboot. It's not a reboot, okay? It's not coming back. I just did that one episode on it. That's it. Don't expect any more. It's, it's one of those things that everyone's like, 
But Jack, it does so well, and it does. The, how, how many views does the one now have? 3.8 million views. Holy Jesus Christ. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> but there's more to doing YouTube than just getting views. And I, I can't just keep doing Happy Wheels. It, it gets the exact same jokes every single time. That's what was funny about it too. Everyone's like, Oh, Jack makes the how do we get here joke too much. Jack, I uh, need Coke sponsorship joke. He says that too many times. It's too repetitive. Oh, the memes are just the same thing over and over again. Yet Happy Wheels comes back and everyone's like, Speed is key! Yay! <laughs> it's the same shit. LOL stands for Luigi over here looking thick. <laughs> Damn! Luigi thick, dude! Damn, boy! Look at those buns! God, I'd like to take a bite out of those apples. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with the fact that this channel has become just like a safe haven for thirsty Luigi stands. I'm kind of okay with it, but I'm also terrified of what slope we're going down. <laughs> Jack, all artists on the internet, your art is wonderful and beautiful. Me. Honestly, I still love it. It has a quirky, fun little charm to it, and you are absolutely delightful and adorable, and you should keep on drawing, you funky little artist bean. I can't draw. I probably wouldn't even draw like this. I'd probably be worse than this. So you're still better than me, so take that to the grave with you. Oh my. I decided to watch some old videos back and found this. It made me tear up. I will never ever in a million years get a million subscribers. Jesus. Man, how times have changed. <laughs> I- I didn't even just like say that because it was like, Oh, maybe if I don't say it, people will subscribe to me out of pity. It was- it wasn't anything like that. I legitimately never ever thought the channel would hit a million subscribers. And then it, it hit it in 2014 and then blasted past it by, to like 3 million by the end of 2014. It hit a million in August in 2014 and then by the end of the year it was at like 3. And then by the end of next year it was pushing close to 10. It was fucking wild. That's why anytime I, I think about that kind of stuff, about like gaining subs and views and trying to be like viral and all that shit, I'm like, I kind of had my moment. I, I'm fine with where I am. I think I've done a good job at what I do and now we can just like have fun. Sit back, relax, do some fun shit and see where it goes. So thank you, anyone who's been here and watched for years or has even stopped by on the channel at any moment. Even if you stopped by and hated the channel and you wanted to block your ears and kill me, at least you stopped by. And that's more than what a lot of people have done, so thank you. I'm just happy that I get to do this at all. It could have easily not happened at all. I get to sit down and play video games and talk to you guys and have a bunch of amazing people all around me every day. What's not to love? It's fucking amazing. Best job in the world. <laughs> Nobody is born cool, except, of course, people who still post Jacksepticeye levels on Happy Wheels. You get- you get my salute. You get my ding ding ding. Soft ding 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 noises. But yeah, it's still pretty cool to go back to that and Turbo Dismount or any game that has custom levels I could probably go back to that I've played on the channel and people are still making levels for me, which is incredibly sweet and sincere, so thank you. Jack on the eighth day of Nostalgia Week, it's meme time. <laughs> almost! I almost did that. The eighth day of uh, Nostalgia Week was Minecraft because that was like... Uh, I wouldn't... It wasn't the biggest series of the year. Maybe not. I think Death Stranding maybe have might have been bigger or actually Resi 2 as well um but it was it was one of the more fun ones and it had like a big climax that we were all waiting to happen and then the closer I got to the end of the year I was like hold on I have a fun idea so and it was part of like the one of the newer series that we've done contrasted against a lot of the older series we had done so it was a fun thing also I completely fucked it up and misjudged the timing of my nostalgia week um <laughs> Because I was like, okay, I'll start on this date, and then there'll be seven games, and that'll be New Year's. And then it was supposed to be like a double upload for New Year's as well anyway, and then I just completely miscalculated my days, because I'm a big fucking dumbass. Happy wheels through the years, man. The <laughs> I may have aged, and I may look different, but that is a lot of the exact same energy <laughs> over a six year period. Good. Fun memories. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, baby. Part 33 is here. I told you. I even said it. I set up that like two weeks beforehand that I said that I would do it. And in the meantime, I said I would go back to it. I said I was sorry. I didn't give up on it. I've never given up on Minecraft. Except for the two months or close to three months when I did. But it's back. I did it. Also, did any of you actually watch it at this 
timestamp. I haven't had a chance to really go through my timelines on social media. Um, so I didn't really see. But if you have a clip of you watching it, uh, right at the exact time, then please tweet it at me, because I'd love to see it. Because those things are fun. I always see those on, on Reddit or Twitter or something like that already. And I want to... <laughs> My favorite one is Star Wars, where New Year's is coming, and then it's Obi-Wan jumping down and going, Hello there. Right at midnight. I love that. So, <laughs> that was part of the inspiration for that video. So, please, send it to me. So glad I grew up with this, but damn, this is good. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so much change over the years. This is cool, too, because the three guys here had no idea that this would happen, that we would even be doing this as like a job or, well, maybe in these time periods, I don't know when these screenshots were taken. But starting it off, none of us knew that this would happen, that we'd be able to do this as a job and meet so many amazing people and meet each other even. So, how many YouTubers are out there right now watching this video who are just starting out and really want to make it happen or really just love what they do that in six, seven years time, People might be making posts like this about you, so if you've just started YouTube, if you're trying it out, or if you want to start YouTube, just go for it. The world is your oyster cake. Just hit the ground running and have as much fun as you possibly can with it, and just have- just don't take it too seriously, just go for it. I think I forgot something. If you forgot, then it wasn't important. Yeah, you're right. Subnautica for Nostalgia Week. I know a lot of people really asked me to do it for Nostalgia Week. Well, there was a lot of games people asked me to do. Some of them I was like, really? Why would that be in there? Um, I did say I wasn't going to do, like, story-driven things, because I feel like I've done those already. And I wanted to do one game per day. And a lot of games just don't lend themselves to one-off episodes, like Undertale or something. I can't go back and just do one episode on that, because then people would just demand so much more of it. And Subnautica was kind of one of those. I can't really do just a one-off episode on Subnautica. And there is the new expansion that I'm still waiting to be finished before I play more of that. But also... I did so much of the early access of Subnautica, and then I did the full game when it came out, and then I did... The, I'm doing the early access of the Below Zero, and then I'm waiting for that to come out, so... There's already a lot of Subnautica on the channel. It's the same with Papers, Please. I went back and did that again already this year, so I wasn't going to do it for Nostalgia Week again. Otherwise, it would have been in there. <laughs> oh my god. No! Stop this! Also... Sure. <laughs> If you don't get the joke, then that's good. You're too young to understand. Or too dumb. I, either way, neither of those are my problem. But stop this, okay? The- The bell of shame. The toots of sadness. Jack short as fuck when grandma calls you to a cute couple. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Can't you just leave things alone? Just let us be- have a hand, fun, happy time. <laughs> also, I'm not short as fuck. I'm perfectly average height. Okay, Evelyn's just really tall. She's Dutch. Have you been to the Netherlands? People over there literally are the tallest people on the planet. It has the highest average of tall people. And she's just really tall. And I think it's awesome. It's cool how tall she is. She's my tall Dutch queen and I love her very much. <laughs> explain this, Sean. I don't know what it, what else there is to explain. <laughs> on the- if you search for Free Guy cast, it's the, the movie that we're going to be part of next year. This is the picture that shows up for me on Google, for some reason. I don't know why. I, I'm kind of really into it. I think it's awesome. Everybody else is like, oh, this is us at red carpets and doing nice things. But for me, then, it's just me going, oh, yeah! <laughs> it's very evident to me as a person. Also, if you don't know what's going on, it's a movie that's coming out. I was asked to have a cameo in it. I'm extremely very excited. It's a movie called Free Guy. It's about a... NPC who wakes up and is sentient in a video game world. It's coming out in July. It's gonna be awesome. Go watch it. What are you waiting for? Jacksepticeye's Funniest Home Video Season 2, Episode 2. Me too, kid. I know. It's so hard to find, like, decent clips for something like that. Because I could get in and look up a funny compilation on YouTube. But, I've first of all, I've seen most of them. And I also, I want to, like, curate actual, like, fun videos and not just stuff that everyone's seen way too much of already. So if you have clips, send them to me. I, I need them. Or at least a, some sort of source to be able to find funny videos for these types of things. But I will do another one. I'll record it this week, even. That's a promise. 
I don't normally make promises in this channel because normally I don't know if I can keep them, but this time, that's a promise. That's a Jacksepticeye promise and you could take that to the bank. Me, a newer fan, watching Nostalgia Week knowing I've missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's- I mean, you've missed seven years worth of content, basically, so it's gonna feel a little bizarre, but hopefully, you enjoyed it anyway. I thought it was a really fun thing to do. Uh, to- Because uh, people normally wrap up the year, and I, I always kind of do that in a vlog anyway, but it was fun to just kind of wrap up the decade, since my entire YouTube career was based within this decade, to just go back and play some of the- some of the games that I've kind of wanted to go back and play anyway, and this was a fun excuse to kind of do that. It also went down incredibly well, so thanks for watching it and just going along with the fun. I should try and do more kind of thematic things like that. I think they're really interesting. I made my computer run for over 120 hours to make Billy Irish a real thing. Oh my god. To surprise some fans, we're gonna be playing- That is horrifying! That I helped design. Oh my god, it's so weird! Stop this! Jesus! Oh my god, it said cloak! Look at this fucking picture! Jesus Christ, that's horrifying! Also, why does it work so well? And I am here about to surprise some fans. Is this the first deep fake of Jacksepticeye? I think so. I'm very excited to see more. Just well, don't get weird with it, okay? Fun stuff like this is great, but if you cross that boundary, I will kill you. Next face. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That's very fun. <laughs> Also, I'm just gonna say that Billie Irish is- uh, Billie Irish? Billie Eilish is really cool. I- I like her a lot. I think her mentality is- is very fun to listen to in interviews and stuff and kind of shaking up the world and just being herself and doing what she wants. I think that that's very, very- It's a very cool thing to see someone so young spreading such a good message about like, just be yourself and do what you want and fuck everybody else. <laughs> watching Jack play old games for fun, watching Jack play old games to hear the old catchphrases. It's weird how many of them I forgot. There's like a few per uh, series that I really remember, but then there was a bunch of them everyone was like, I can't believe you did this without that one. You've done it in every other episode. And I'm like, it's been six years since I recorded it. I'm sorry. I literally cannot remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. I'm not going to remember a catchphrase from a video game. <laughs> Two back to back. Jack said I should bring back his old outro for Nostalgia Week. Nostalgia Week will not end until Jack does his old outro. I, I get it, but God, that outro is so long. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Three popular YouTubers to watch in every generation. Boomers, Millennials, Gen Zs. <laughs> Why? Me and Mark started like a year apart. It's not- we're not that different. <laughs> I don't even know if it was a year. Mark, Mark had 30k subs when I start watching him. People seem to think that I started way later than everybody else, but... No, I didn't. It was pretty damn close to each other. Jack should dye his hair green for Nostalgia Week. It's called Nostalgia Week, not Dumbass Week. Plus, it's even more nostalgic if I don't have dyed hair. I've had brown hair on my channel now way longer than I've had dyed hair. Plus, I don't want to look like Ninja. This is something that I do regret, not having the cap for Nostalgia Week. I should have brought that back for an episode, but I can't find it. I- I don't know where it is. I think it got lost when we moved. I thought it was in one of the boxes. Maybe it is. There's still some boxes in the garage that have like a ton of things in them related to YouTube stuff. And I just- I can't find it. I thought it- I thought it was in a specific box and I went looking for it and I can't find it so I'm sorry. If I- if I find it- if I go looking for it and I find it again, I'll wear it in an episode just for fun. Felix and Jack both had 69 levels when they beat the Ender Dragon. Weird! I mean, nice. <laughs> That's because we're real gamers. We know. We did it for you guys. Because we know that real gamers love that number because it's hilarious. So we did it for you. Respect. Oh shit, there it is! Come on. It is, it is true. Come on. Uh, Come on. uh, 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 uh. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it still sent me videos of it though. If you- if you did it at the time. Don't fake it. Don't turn around now and be like, look, I did it, Jack! Ah uh, ha ha, look! And then you just take out like a stopwatch or something. I'm big brain. I'll know if you're being a stinky. Third attempt at getting Jack to see this. I've spent over eight hours making it and it turned out really good. It would literally mean the world to me if Jack saw it. Okay, I'm not gonna get copyrighted for this, Come am on, I? Come on, we gotta get up. Oh. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking about this story. 
there's this <laughs> video <laughs> that kills you seven days after you watch it. No, that kills you immediately. The second it's over, the phone rings. And this boy says... Ding, 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 top of 40! <laughs> That's good. We've opened up a door, and now no one is safe. <laughs> nice. Damn. That's cool. Yeah, good job. Fucking hell. <laughs> That legitimately made me laugh. I have to show this to Evelyn. <laughs> also, was that the new Ring remake? Well, new. I didn't. I can't remember when it came out. I know they did a new one. That looked fucking awful compared to the original Ring. God, I mean, not the thing to get caught up in, but Killer Bear. Thank you very much for posting that. Or Dank Cube. Wait, are you the same person or somebody whoring off of your work? It does happen on the internet. Alright you beanie babies and meme dreamers, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Sorry, this one felt like I... <laughs> this... I don't know. Feel, felt like a weird episode. <laughs> it's a new year! Which means it's time for new memes. Did I just I unironically do meme review? Uh, <laughs> it's time for new memes. So if you wanna be part of it, if you wanna come on in and post some memes yourself, you can go to the Guy subreddit and subscribe to it and be part of the meme community there. Uh, also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Alright, if you don't, I'm gonna be upset! I'm very upset already because you're not doing it! I wanna see it! Okay? Like the video! And subscribe as well, okay? I don't ask for much, but now I'm asking for everything. Subscribe! Hit bells! Go back and watch all the old videos! Subscribe again! With another account! Tell your family and your friends! Okay? I tried to lift this chair and it's actually very heavy! But I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye, memers. <laughs>